Starting from the early hours of March 31, Jiangxi Province in China experienced sudden severe convective weather. There were thunderstorms with wind speeds ranging from 7 to 12 on the Beaufort scale, accompanied by hailstones larger than eggs in some areas. The heavy rainfall, strong winds, and hailstorm were akin to a massive typhoon. Earlier reports from a local news channel stated that three people in a residential area were blown away while sleeping, falling to the ground floor and perishing. This event is even more severe compared to previous occurrences. According to records from the Meteorological Observation Station in Nanchang City, the maximum wind speed has reached 12 on the Beaufort scale, approximately 35.3 meters per second. The maximum wind speed across Jiangxi province that night was 45.5 meters per second, equivalent to wind speeds of about 14 to 15 on the Beaufort scale, comparable to those of a super typhoon upon landfall. The city was hit by a fierce storm accompanied by hail, and in an instant, the sky turned dark, resembling an apocalypse.
小心你手，我操！拿回去怎么追啊？我操！我操！回来吗？我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！The scene was chaotic, with people emitting terrified cries. Such severe weather easily leads to accidents. The government should respond proactively. According to local media analysis, the distribution of meteorological observation stations is limited, and the maximum wind speed may not have been accurately detected. Moreover, occurring in the city center, the ground may have experienced wind speeds of up to 10 levels, which could intensify to 12 levels in mid to high rise buildings. On April 3rd, according to the Jiangxi Provincial Emergency Flood Control and Drought Relief Headquarters, the wind and hail disaster that began on March 31st caused 93,000 people to be affected in nine prefecture-level cities and 54 counties including Nanchang and Jiujiang. Seven people died due to the disaster, 552 people were urgently evacuated, and 263 people were relocated urgently. The affected area of agricultural crops reached 57,000 hectares, with 12 households and 44 houses collapsed, 80 households and 192 houses severely damaged, and 2,751 households and 4,107 houses suffering general damage, resulting in direct economic losses of 150 million yuan. The China Meteorological Administration issued its strongest wind warning, a level of intensity commonly associated with typhoons upon landfall, which is quite rare in inland Chinese cities. Moreover, this has persisted for three days, with several regions in southeastern China also issuing the highest level of severe convective orange alerts. According to official reports, this is the strongest storm to hit the region in nearly a decade.